Hi, I'm Hannah Fitzpatrick. I'm a sophomore at North Platte. <laughs> um, and this poem is called, How to Describe Depression to Someone Who Isn't Depressed. It's hard to fully understand something you don't have experience with, but everyone has a way of trying to. There are some things that only take a smile and a nod to fake understanding, like pretending I get what's going on during class. But then there's things like depression, where nodding like you get it is an insult. We're asking me why I'm sad makes me upset because I can't give you an answer. We're telling me to cheer up makes my mood plummet further. To me, it feels like telling a person with a broken leg to just walk it off. And when you say you are sorry, my stomach twists because I know my words hold no weight to you just like your sorry holds no weight to me. So let me try to describe it in a way that might make sense because telling you that depression is a weight as heavy as the world on my shoulders and that's my reason for slouching you wouldn't understand. Just like the fish can't listen to the bird describing being dry is safe and warm because all being dry means to him is pain and life being sucked from his palpitating heart and gills that need water to fill them. I can't express how different the worlds are that we live in. So please, let me try to find somewhere in the middle where I can reach both sides. Some days depression is like a pebble in my shoe. I can ignore it until I begin to walk, but by then I don't have time to stop and shake it out so I continue. Wincing only on the inside, I ignore the pebble. But then there's days where I am the pebble and depression's weight is crushing me. And all I can do is wait for it to shake me out of the prison it calls a shoe, but it doesn't shake me out. I'm stuck underneath crying out with every step to make it hear me, but I am ignored. Depression is eyes downcast, they don't meet another's. Walking as fast as I can past people I know praying they won't stop and ask me how I'm doing. I know they always expect me to say I'm fine, but I don't feel fine. And that's fine is the feeling I get watching tears pour down my face as I stare down my reflection in the mirror, asking myself, why can't I be like everyone else? Why is it so easy for them to feel happy? What's wrong with me? Why did God give me depression? And why do I deserve it? How do I fix something that feels like a part of me? Depression is the sound, the sound of my alarm clock going off that makes me cringe because waking up means getting ready for a day I don't want to be awake in. That feeling of happiness I try to cling to with my eyes squeezed shut is only a dream and reality is the alarm blaring in my ear. And even after it stops beeping, I still hear it. Because unlike the off switch you find on the back of an alarm clock, depression only has a snooze button. Depression is a weight as heavy as the world on my shoulders and I hope now you can make sense of it. But I pray you never, ever completely understand. Because to, truly because to truly comprehend it, you would have to be depressed. And as much as I would like for you to grasp this, I wouldn't wish this on anyone. Because depression is the cancer of the mind. And I hope you always test negative for it.